independent investor. Did you guys know that Aduro Clean Technology was uh, voted uh, one of the top five uh, clean tech companies of 2023? As we've entered into 2024, Aduro has uh, released a litany of press releases um, that only uh, allows um, us to be excited in 2024 and beyond with the progress that is being made with this company. I'm going to showcase the action in the stock as of late uh, and going back uh, about a year. And uh, we have really delivered on all fronts on the performance of the stock. It makes it that much more enjoyable of a project uh, to actually invest in a company that has um, its uh, uh, investor base so close to the decisions that are made uh, and making sure that they uh, unpack this technology uh, in the most responsible manner. There's been two announcements here in April uh, that showcase their um, ability on a global scale uh, to introduce their technology to a global audience, uh, financial institutions, government entities, as well as industry representatives here. And I think it uh, is incumbent upon investors to pay particular attention now in a period where I think Aduro, unfortunately, is is lulling a lot of investors to sleep, I presume, except for the ones in the know that understand that this is probably one of the best opportunities uh, on the ground floor that I personally have ever seen uh, in the investing landscape, and nobody's talking about it. Um, I do concur. I do believe that Aduro is one of the top picks uh, as of late, and it does transcend the years. Uh, Aduro is going to unfold over the next couple of years, and more people are going to be coming aware uh, of the company and what they bring to the table. And this company sitting at 75 million U.S. market cap is and will be short-lived. Pay particular attention here. We're going to jump in. We're going to cover the press releases. I encourage everybody to get in and read those for themselves. Visit Aduro Clean Tech and uh, stay pulsed in with this uh, looming announcement and what is going to potentially come from their customer engagement program, the Shell Game Changer program, and what potentially could come out of uh, these conferences that they are attending as we speak now. So very exciting times for Aduro. Let's jump in and take a look at the stock action to kick things off. And this is the one-year stock chart on Aduro Clean Technology. I've been reporting out on the company for the last couple of years. Uh, and it's been um, very enjoyable to report out on a stock and a and a, uh, a management team that is so focused on getting this right. And this stock chart speci speaks specifically to that. You can see here to the shift in the right, I want to bring your attention to the increase in volume that is specifically picked up in 2024 as the Stock has conservatively continued to drift up and to the right, uh, as we uh, would expect from a company that has um, has done everything right up to this point, um, and will continue to track its performance. Uh, but uh, this is what everybody's interested online is how the stock has performed, and you know how how what that means for current investors, and how that could potentially attract new investors. Uh, to the company, but uh, you, you can't ask for any better than this in the stock performance uh, and much more to come here with a lot of looming uh, announcements and earnings just around the corner. I invite you into adurocleantech.com. This is the source of the um, latest press release here, or one of two from the month of April, and I I think this uh, fell on a little bit of deaf ears with regard to the exposure that Aduro is looking to seek uh, both in Europe uh, as well as uh, in Canada with the conferences um, as well as the treaty talks that are happening in Canada. Aduro is splitting efforts here to send representation from uh, Aduro, Eric Appleman, to Europe and um uh, Abe Dyke to Canada to represent and uh, showcase the technology to um, uh, these conferences. And I've always stated that 
for folks that are covering the story and following the story, it is incumbent upon you to understand that we do our small part here uh, on YouTube to bring these to the forefront. If you didn't have us paying this information forward to you, you would be blindly looking to seek out this information on your own. But we pay this forward here for you and your convenience and, and shed light on these news releases as they're made available to you. Now, I will link this news release in the description as well as the comments. It is worth uh, a review on what type of exposure they are looking to get here uh, at attending these conferences. You can see here nearly 500 participants from 32 countries. If Aduro is going to move the needle here in 2024 and beyond, it will be because of their own efforts in showcasing their technology to the right audience. And April was a very exciting um, announcement with these conferences that they're scheduled to attend and showcase the technology that they're uh, looking to share with the world as we are in an active transition to more of a circular economy and finding out how we can augment and, and eventually solve the pr plastic problem globally. For your convenience here, I've jumped into Aduro Clean Tech and the latest press release for uh, Aduro Clean Technologies joining the delegation at the Intergovernmental Negotiating Committee on Plastic Pollution. This also is worth a few moments of your time to review the amount of exposure that Aduro is looking to seek out here. Uh, 1,400 government members and 2,800 observers uh, at this as they're looking to finalize the treaty for uh, plastic pollution globally and, and how best to, uh, to tackle this, this problem. I want to bring your attention specifically to the extended producer responsibility, and you can do some uh, research on your own. Now, I did it the same, and I, I kick over to this article uh, from the uh, from a European uh, source here, kind of explaining a little bit more in depth on what is going to come out of this, and essentially what it means is producers of plastic are not going to be able to turn out and produce multiple hundreds of, of millions of tons of plastic every year with no accountability. There's going to have to be tracking on the front end and there's going to be accountability on the back end so as to hold plastic producers uh, accountable for the amount of potential plastic pr uh, pr pollution that could be put out in the environment uh, because we have just utterly failed at, at trusting that the plastics will end up in a recycled uh, capacity that has just proved to be an absolute fallacy uh, in the industry. But very exciting times here as Aduro is on the forefront of, um, of, of these initiatives to assist these companies that are going to be forced to not only record the plastic that they're producing and turning out into the environment, but also how much they are taking in. And the shortfalls could uh, result in penalties to these companies. So this is very serious, and it affects their bottom line, and Aduro sports that technology to help assist and, and augment these companies uh, when looking at um, what is being proposed now through the extended producer responsibility. Now, I, I want the viewers to understand that this conference is going on as we speak. We have earnings right around the corner. There is a lot going on right now with six multi-billion dollar companies right now doing uh, in customer engagements with Aduro. So there is a lot churning below the surface. And I, I think what is happening now is we are being lulled to sleep a little bit and thinking that Aduro is, is not doing anything or they are uh, uh, being slow uh, in 2024. That is far from the truth. Aduro is doing a lot behind the scenes, and I think a lot of these initiatives are going to pay off because, I, again, I think the exposure and the education uh, in showcasing their technology is the key driver in what they are looking to do 
in bringing on more uh, customers and eventual collaborators into the Aduro clean technologies fold. So I appreciate you guys tuning in to these periodic reviews. Please understand Aduro Clean Technologies is a company that the Independent Investor Channel covers. I am compensated for my efforts. The full disclaimers are available for you in the description below, as well as my full share count. Uh, I've been accumulating shares as of late, uh, very heavy. Those share buys are um, shared with you guys just shy of 100,000 shares in the company right now and building. I do have intention to continue to grow my position. I, I've talked about the performance of the stock and um, I'm very excited for things to come here. I would remind all investors to do their own research when looking at a company like Aduro Clean Technology or any company for that matter. Um, our intention on the I2 is to bring forward uh, current progress as it is made available uh, through the forward-facing conduits for information. We're glad to share forward that information. And for a lot of people, it really is just a first introduction to the company. I invite you to review what I've shared with you on this video and many others. Go back and look at the history. Look at the investor slide presentation that Aduro has released new this year in 2024 to chronicle where they have been, uh, where they currently are, and more importantly, where they could potentially go into the future with this exciting technology that is providing for efficiency rates that are just off the chart and quite frankly, unprecedented in this uh, niche clean tech movement that we are in right now. And we are, my friends, in the early innings of this initiative moving forward to try to tackle the plastic problem globally. If you enjoy the information coming through on the channel, please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. Uh, you'll be apprised of uh, any and all information that I pay forward on the channel uh, specific to Aduro Clean Technologies. And leave your comments at the bottom of this video. Strike up a discussion. There's a lot of people who hit me up behind the scenes. I'm not going to get on here and yell and scream and, and carry on. I am a long-term share owner in this company. I have been for two years. I have not sold any shares outside of um, the one block for a tax acknowledgement, but I am a bullish long-term share owner. I'm long on most of my shares now, and I'm continuing to accumulate as disclosed in this video. Uh, and I will be there to continue to report out on the company. I'm glad to do so. It's an exciting company to invest in, and it's exciting times here to see this technology unfold to tackle uh, this um, huge problem that we have globally with the plastic pollution problem. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in for the totality of the video, and good luck in your investment future.